routine right here is the It's Lana here and today we're going to talk about my curly hair routine. It's hard to find a curly hair routine that works. For years I had absolutely no idea what to use on my hair and then that's why I ended up straightening it every single day. We don't need to do that anymore. There are hundreds, thousands, probably millions of curly hair products on the market. I've tried a lot of them, okay? <laughs> my bank account hates me. So I have had so many reactions from so many different kinds of people like friends, family, strangers on the train when I've used different hair products. Like I could use something that smells really strong and people literally wrinkle their nose up and here I was thinking that I smell like a tropical goddess and people are like what is that smell it's giving me a headache and I'm like sars or I've had people literally look at me and say is your hair still wet because it looks like I literally just stepped out the shower or it looks like I got caught in the rain I look like a drowned rat because my hair product is literally making my hair look so wet this is my favorite curly hair routine because I feel like I know enough about curly hair products now to like know that this is what I like when I first made this channel I knew literally like three hair care brands and they worked for me at the time, but now I know so much more and I'm like, Ugh. This one takes me the least amount of time. This one means that I only have to wash my hair once a week and my curls are still pretty, pretty much popping by the end of the week. The smell is like perfect. Like nobody has ever sort of like looked around as soon as I've walked into the room. Like <laughs> the fruit card is here. When you find a hair care routine like that, then that's the moment when you realize this is the only hair care routine that you need. And I'm gonna show you. For the first step in my curly hair routine, I have to get my hair wet. I did once have a shampoo that needed me to use it on dry hair, which made no sense to me and I ended up throwing that product away because I was just like, shampoo on dry hair? Not in my house. That is why I use like regular shampoos where you put them on wet hair. Then go ahead and take a shampoo. Not just any old shampoo. I use sulfate free shampoos and I rotate through these shampoos. I have others as well, but I'm gonna wait until I finish using these ones and then I'll go ahead and get on with the other ones, you know? The reason I use a sulfate sulfate free shampoo is because sulfates are very drying on hair like any hair but especially on curly hair because curly hair is naturally drier anyway they strip your hair off those natural oils from your scalp which are actually very nutritious by the way and the sulfates take that away and leave your hair dry and sad and lacking it's not a good time i went with puridor this day and i've been using puridor a lot actually the main point of this step is that i'm using sulfate free but this one is free from a whole bunch of stuff puridor is actually vegan as well vegan cruelty free so i pump this onto my hand and then i put that onto my scalp and i actually get a lot of questions from you guys asking why i put my shampoo like on my scalp and not on the rest of my hair i put it specifically on my scalp because the rest of your hair generally does not actually need to be shampooed because to actually shampoo your hair is actually quite a harsh action like even if you are using sulfate free usually the only part that really needs cleaning is the scalp like if you look here i've got like edge control here so that needs to go if i go to the gym which i do then i'm gonna have like sweat on my scalp i'm gonna have like just debris skin cells there's gonna be a lot of, a lot of product there's gonna be oil and stuff up there that just needs to go that's why i use my shampoo on my scalp and i just wash all of that away lift up all of that product build up all of that sweat all of that grease all of that gunk and then i can get rid of that with without actually drying out the rest of my hair as well. So while I'm doing that, I sometimes take a massage brush and I use that on my scalp, it vibrates. So that helps the shampoo to lift off all of the dirt and the gunk from your head and give you a really good cleansed feeling. Also it helps with hair growth as well. So that's what I do. And then I go ahead and I rinse that out. And as you rinse it out, the shampoo is gonna kind of cleanse the rest of your hair as it all comes down. So that's another reason why I don't really put the product on the rest of my hair because it will cleanse as it comes through anyway. Let's move on to my step number three in my curly hair routine, conditioner. So I decided to kind of put this all in one group. So I have like conditioners and then I have deep conditioners and I will either use one or the other. I wouldn't really use a deep conditioner and then rinse it out and then put a conditioner on because there is such a thing as too much conditioner, especially if it's like protein. Like if you're doing a mask that's supposed to put protein in your hair and then you go and do another protein treatment, you can actually end up putting too 
too much protein in your hair which can make your hair brittle so I tried to avoid overdoing it so if I were to use a deep conditioner at this point then what I would do is the steps would be exactly the same up until now and then I would take something like this which is my cocoa and E but again I have another selection of these it doesn't always have to be this exact one but this one is really good it's just a really good nourishing treatment for the hair it's really good at revitalizing the hair bringing back the life bringing back the health the shine the volume I actually I love this mask to be honest like as you can tell I love it this one is really quick actually which is why I've been using it a lot and it does a really good job I did a whole video about this so this is really quick because it only takes 10 minutes but if you don't even have 10 minutes then forget the deep condition and just do like a normal rinse out conditioner like as long as you get the conditioning in so I have like a whole bunch of conditioners that I use as well of course because I'm a product junkie and I've got so many products but the key here is to have like a silicone free conditioner because silicones they're very plasticky they're just not very good for your hair they coat your hair in this kind of plastic softness and it's not real softness it's fake so avoid silicones avoid parabens avoid phthalates go for cruelty free and vegan if you can so <laughs> this is mucky so on this day I went with my Purador again so this is the curl therapy conditioner again notice how it's specifically for curls so I don't want you guys to go away from this video and just start buying like regular shampoos and conditioners off the shelf when it's not designed for curly hair okay our hair has got unique requirements that's why actual like products that are designed for curly hair are really helpful so again this is like really natural it's cruelty free sulfate free paraben free phthalate free so for my curly hair routine I basically just try to use like the most natural products that I can find so I go ahead and I apply that to my hair, I take a big dollop I usually spill this everywhere. This one is actually running out. It's not though. I need to like kind of tip it up I guess. I had to get this product out because I really wanted to use it. I'm not gonna waste a drop of it because this stuff can get a little bit expensive if you waste it so don't waste it. I apply that mainly to like the mid lengths like here and I apply it to the ends. I don't apply this very high up. I don't apply this to my roots or to my scalp. Conditioners are not for your scalp. They can actually block the pores on your scalp, which can actually cause your follicles to become weak. It can lead to your hair becoming weak. It can lead to your hair like falling off. Don't put conditioner on your scalp, especially if you're planning on leaving it in. If you're gonna give it a good thorough, 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 thorough rinse, then maybe you can. But like for me, like I just, I don't really see any benefit in putting conditioner like way up high on my roots because that hair is new and it's fresh anyway. It's pretty healthy up here. Down here is where you want to worry about your hair drying out and it needs like extra care because this hair is pretty old. When my hair has all of this conditioner on it, that's when I detangle my hair. I take my Tangle Teaser Splash and I've been using this brush like for such a long time. I actually find myself using this more than like even finger detangling or even using a wide tooth comb. I always use this, it just detangles my hair so easily. I start from the bottom and I work my way up. And that's the way that you're gonna avoid breakage because if you try and take your brush like from the top down you're gonna end up ripping through tangles it's gonna be really hard to detangle your hair and you're gonna lose hair that you were not supposed to lose like you're gonna pull hair out like that hair didn't naturally fall out you pulled it out so don't do that if it's a good conditioner it should make your hair really easy to detangle if you find that your hair is still like just not smooth not slick and just really hard to detangle then it's probably a bad conditioner and all of the ones that I'm showing you guys are really good for that so I use like Cantu, Hairfinity, Shea Moisture. If I'm using a hair mask then I'll do the same thing like I will detangle my hair with the hair mask on and that not only detangles your hair but it helps to thoroughly like evenly distribute the product so that your whole hair is getting treated not just like a few sections here and there and this is the only time in the whole week pretty much that my hair is going to get detangled so it has to be a good thorough detangling and I'm probably going to lose a little bit of hair while I do this and that's completely normal because remember it's normal to lose about 100 hairs a day so if you're only brushing your hair once a week then don't be surprised if you've got 700 hairs on your brush it's gonna look like a lot but it's gonna be okay okay so then when you're done that like leave product on your hair for as long as it says or use your conditioners it usually says about three to five minutes and you will probably find that when you're done detangling that three to five minutes has already gone so like for me as soon as I'm done detangling I'm like that's long enough so for step four I rinse my hair and I usually use like warm water you know I'm not like one of these people that you have been accusing 
all over Instagram of having like the devil fire hot showers. I just have like warm showers. So I wash my, rinse my hair out with warm water. Then I give my hair a cold rinse. Cold water, like put your shower on the coldest setting, cold, and then just do your hair, or you can even like go to the sink, drip your hair in it like this, and put cold water over your hair, because the cold water really helps to seal the cuticles of your hair shaft, which means that your hair is gonna be smoother, because it's been sealed by the cold water, which means that you should hopefully see less frizz and increase a shine. So that's what I do. For the next step in my routine, I use a curl cream. So I know that you will probably find lots of people get to this step and then they're talking like a leave-in conditioner, curl cream, oil, and uh, a little sprinkle of good luck. No, we're not gonna do that today. Today, I'm just using one product. There's only really like two products that I can choose from. These are like my holy grails right now. I I sort of switched between the Cantu and the Puridor Curl Therapy Cream. They both do a really similar thing. And what they do is they act as all-in-ones. So they moisturize my hair like a leave-in conditioner would. They define my curls just like a curl definer cream would. And they just lock everything in place, give me shine, give me <clears throat> give me moisture. So they like, they don't weigh my hair down. I just really love them to like the ends of the earth. These are my two literal favorite products. I take a big dollop of this or the Cantu. Today I'm using the Puridor and I take a big dollop of it onto my hands and I run that in the ends of my hair, in the mid links of my hair, and then I lift up this section and I make sure that's covered as well because sometimes I forget that section. And then I comb it through. I brush it through with that same Tangle Teaser. So I sort of rinse off that Tangle Teaser brush, make sure there's no conditioner left on it. And then I go back in and I use that to evenly distribute my curl cream because I don't want there just to be clumps with no product on it and that kind of thing. I want to make sure that all of my hair is covered and looking good, looking sharp, looking fine. So that's what I do. Yeah, then I sort of scrunch my hair a little bit, not too much. I scrunch it a little bit with the towel most of the time just to make sure that I've got rid of any like massively excessive water because I don't want my hair to be dripping down my back for like the next 48 hours. And then because my hair at this point is still very, very wet, I usually wrap my hair in a towel for a little while just to get my hair to a point where it's not gonna soak through all of my clothes and ruin my day. I hate wearing soggy clothes so much. Like, you know when it's like, ugh, 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 ugh. Ooh, that's how it feels. And I just let it air dry. I don't really ever diffuse and I'm not really using any other means of drying my hair lately. I'm just pretty much only doing air drying and it's working out pretty well for me, I think. So this is my hair now that it's completely dry. When I filmed the first part of the video, my hair was not yet completely dry. Here it is. This is how it looks. I love having this much volume. Other products that I've used used to take away a lot of the volume. This product routine that I've got right now, it leaves my curls defined, but I also get volume as well, which is like really hard to find. Like that kind of combination, when you find it, never let it go. Define curls and volume. Winning combo right there, you can't beat it. They stay popping. Nobody ever complains about the smell. The smell does not give me a headache. That's my curl routine. Like I've said, the products change up, but the structure stays the same. My criteria for my products pretty much stays the same. If you liked the video, then hit that like button. It really helps me out. Also subscribe for more helpful videos and join my summer squad. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.